Hello, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Jaime. Hello, teacher. Hi, Mr. Reyes. How are you doing tonight? Good? Very good, very good. Yeah, really, really. Where are you? Where are you? Are you at work? Excuse me? Are you at work? Uh, can you move your camera a little bit like this so I can see your, your face? There you go. There you go. All right. How are you, my friend? Fine. Mm, thank you, teacher. I'm glad. Ready for your class tonight? Hi, yeah. teacher. Hello? Who's this? Uh, me? Me? Excuse me. Uh, I have the problem with my... My microphone, the Monday, and yesterday I have the the problem with um, introduce in the in the platform. I don't know in English teacher. <laughs> Log into the platform. Yes, yes, but it's not possible. Uh, say me, I I try to prove I am not a, a robot, but it's impossible for me to intro to the class but you're not a robot <laughs> no are you <laughs> no teacher i am not a robot i no. i am a little little girl or a prairie girl <laughs> <laughs> of course a pretty lady yes listen about the problem in the platform i want you to contact miss floor Okay, Miss Floor is the technician in charge of our class. Are you part of the WhatsApp chat, Mercy? Uh, yes, but I don't use the 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 what, WhatsApp for uh, listening with her. Okay, so go to the WhatsApp group after the class and look in the contacts floor okay and you're going to see the logo for uh ingles corporativo on her number and you chat okay asking for assistance for you okay ah okay teacher teacher uh, excuse me and uh, in the i have a, a whatsapp to the diego and he told me i need to make the exercise in the plataforma Yes, it's necessary. It's necessary you move on the platform. Uh, is the problem because I don't stay in the the first uh, maybe? Would you explain the the use to the platform? Because I don't I don't uh, put the entra. <laughs> Okay, Mercy. Technical problems, you need to contact uh, the technician, okay? Okay. Yes, right now it's the class time. This is very, very important time for us to practice our English. Tell me, guys, welcome, welcome to our class. Welcome, Gilma, Albert, Alferes, how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> and you? <laughs> then I go like that. No, come on. More energy. We're going to study our language, our favorite language. Welcome to our class, Noe. How are you, Miss Ponce? Mr. Ponce? Uh, how are you, teacher? I'm uh, fine, thank you. And you? Are you ready? I'm super ready. Class? Yes, oh, okay. I'm super exactly. ready to practice with you. I love practicing my English with you. I love helping you. Okay. Yes, every day. Tomorrow is the last day. We don't have class on Friday. So tomorrow we comply with the first week of classes. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy um, with you. Now, I have a problem. What is teacher? Guys, I have a problem with you right now. You and me, you and me have a problem. Susana, Hector, Susana, Brian, Carla, Maria. 
Jaime. Eh, si es por la Ay. tarea, ah, yo la hice en mi cuaderno. <risa> You're safe. You're safe. You're safe, Azucena. You're okay. Acá tenía yo, let me see, let me see. I have like two homework sent to the group. That's admirable. Okay, let me see. I have Alfe, Alferez, right? Who's Alferez? That's Gilma. That's you, right, Gilma? Sí, Gilma Alferez. He says, my house is very small. That's correct. The game... It was ex really exciting. Entonces ahí va a ser. It was a really exciting game. Creo que solo esa vamos a corregir ahí, ¿ok, Miss Gilma? Ok. It was. Le quita el, el, el AS, le quita el apóstrofe. Solo uh. así tal cual it, porque está hablando okay. del juego. It was a, a really exciting game. Vamos a ver, the car ran pretty fast. Y ahí le vamos a poner S a run en tercera persona. Yes. Mm, yeah. The car runs pretty fast. Muy bien. The city of San Salvador is beautiful, but it's fairly small. Excellent. That's correct. We were somewhat tired after our long walk. Excellent example. Muy Buen trabajo, Miss. Congratulations. Ahora tengo a Mr. Noah Ponce. This is extremely simple device, but also very practical. Extremely simple. Very good. Adverb plus adjective. Uh, this kind of life is very important. This kind of life is very important. Very is the adverb. Important is the adjective. Good job. The streets on this town. Oh, quiso poner really ahí, ¿verdad, Mr. Noah? Really. Yes, sí, okay, yes, really. Yes. Sí. Sería, the streets of this town are really, really dangerous. Are really, yes. Really, me le quita ahí el, el match, okay? Yes. okay? The streets of this town are really Dangerous. She was driving pretty fast. Pretty fast. That sounds like a fairly good proposal. Interesting example. Me gustó ese. I like it. That sounds like a fairly good proposal. Vean, guys. Qué bonito. Hey, eso suena como una propuesta bastante buena, ¿verdad? Como bastante atractiva. I'm somewhat tired of my job. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, excellent job, my friend. Excellent job. Watch the corrections. Y acá Mr. Linares aquí calientito, ¿eh? A little warm aquí, ¿verdad? Acabadito de subir. Veamos, veamos. Let's check it out. The house is extremely big. Okay, extremely big. Alice is a very good student. Very good. Okay. I am really good speaking. Oh, speaking. You kissed this opponent. I speaking English, right? I am really good. Vamos a poner, I am really good. Hasta ahí bien. Luego vamos a poner la preposición at. I am really good at speaking in English. Okay. okay. Luego, Carla is pretty, is a pretty nurse. Mm, ese está bien, JC, pero ahí no pusiste. Bueno, se, se entiende que pretty solo quedó ahí como adjective. Adjective. Ajá. adjective. Faltó describe, ahí el adverb. Ajá. Adverb. Describe okay. the person. Ajá. Describing only the person. That's yeah. right. Pues, eh, corregirle ahí y ponerle quizás un adjective si quieres usar pretty como adverb o la modificas no problem let me okay. see the food the fast food is fairly good okay my car is somewhat small excellent okay guys vamos a ver tres minutitos más the price quién es este susu who's susu who's that that's oh that's your nickname <laughs> I'm sorry. Oops. Oops. 
That's your nickname. Oops. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. My bad. Okay, let's check it out. Valid, teacher, valid. <laughs> it's valid. It's valid, right, Noah? Okay. Yes. The price, the price of house. Okay, the price of the house. Acuérdate que cuando usas una, un noun, en este caso house, tienes que usar un article. Siempre antes de un noun, como house, como car, como soccer ball, tienes que usar un article. Puede ser a, puede ser an, en todo caso, o puede ser de. De es el más común porque de puede ser el, la, los o las. En este caso, el precio de la casa sería... The price of uh, the yeah. house, the house, uh, uh. is extremely expensive. Qué bonito. Okay, es extremadamente. Está super carísimo. Okay, Andrea Buscelli seem very beautiful. By a very nice. Very beautiful. Ahí vamos a ponerle ese a sing. Okay, por ser tercera persona. Andrea Buscelli sings tercera persona. ¿Ok? Studying, 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 el gerundio es siempre study, tal cual, ahí solo agregas ad ing. Studying, yes, studying Chinese is really hard. Bien, guys, hasta ahí vamos a llegar revisando las tareas. Thank you. Thank you for doing your homework. That's very, very responsible from you. I love it. I love it. Let's go Thank to you. today's topic. You have a question? Thank you for your head, teacher. Absolutely pleasure, my friend. Aquí okay. ya tengo a Susana, me lo pasó acá. Oh, awesome, miss. Okay, aquí me lo mandó también. Ya apuntó las correcciones, ¿verdad, miss? Okay, take notes. Yes. Take notes. Let's go. Let me share the screen. Let me share my screen with you. Very nice. Can you visualize my screen now, guys? No. Not teacher. No, yes, teacher. No, yes, you can? Yeah. Yes. You, can, you can see it? You can yes. see it? Yes. Okay. Repeat. I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. See it. I can see it. I can see it. Excellent. Excellent. Let me just. Uh, there you go. There you go. Okay. I can see you all now. Perfect. So let's go ahead and get started. Miss Mercy, now you have microphone. Help us reading the objective for today's class. Go ahead. Mm, okay. Uh, in this ses in this session, modal verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. Yes, mm -hmm. it's okay. A mojo, let me see. In this session, repeat session. 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 Okay. Session. Module module verbs. Modal, module 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 verbs. verbs. Do verbs. you know what is a module verb? Do you know what is a module verb, guys? No. You know what is a verb, right? But a module verb, do you know what it is? Okay, in English we have verbs like eat, go, run, read, exercise, sleep. Those are verbs. But additionally, we have modal verbs, yes? Modal verbs are special verbs, okay? Do you understand? For example, can, repeat can. Can. And should. And should. Repeat can. 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 And should. And not sound letter L, teacher. You don't pronounce the letter L. That's a good catch. That's a good catch. It's silent. So you pronounce also the letter the letter O. 
the letter O is silent. You say should. 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 Can. 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 Now, quiero que lo vean como si fuera el do, como si fuera el das. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Yes. Como si fueran a auxiliar. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que cuando ustedes van a usar el verbo, el verbo va a ir en su forma base. No van a hacer ningún cambio. Es lo bonito de los module verbs. Ok, let's continue. Let me see. Let me make it smaller because it's too big for me. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we're going to check this out. It's a conversation. What should I see there? What should I see there? A bit. What should I see there? I see there. Let's try. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, maybe it's the visualization is not the best, right? Let me see. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation. It's recommended for you to practice this conversation. Can you tell me a little are you, about Are you Mexico able to City? visualize the conversation, guys? Are you able to see? Or no? It's difficult, huh? It's difficult, yeah. it's difficult to see you. It's a little difficult. Okay. Now, in that case, let me explain to you a little bit about can and should, okay? Guys, can is to talk about ability, okay? Yes? Can is to talk about ability. Um, it's also to talk about permission, yes, okay. For example, I can, I can make breakfast. I can, I can make breakfast. Do you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's an ability that I have. Yes. Can you try one example for us? Yes, I can drive a car. I can drive a car. Excellent. Thank you, uh, uh, Juan Carlos. Somebody else? I can play the guitar. I can play the guitar. It's an ability. Uh -huh. I can draw people. I can draw. I can draw people. Yes. Good job. Somebody else? Who's that? Pónganme ahí silent, por favor. Okay, give me one example, please. One more. I can read a book. I can read a, a book. book. Yes, I can read a book in one week, in one month. I don't know. I can read a book. Good job. Abilities. Somebody else? I can sing and dance some music. I can sing and dance music. Music. Uh-huh. Hey, there you go. Thank you. Okay. Can. Cuando hacemos preguntas, when you make questions, podemos hacer questions. We can make questions about permission. 
Yes. Permission or possibility. Permission or possibility. For example, question, question. Can I, can I drink water? Yes. Can I, well, you're right. Can I drink water? I'm asking for permission. Do you understand? Um, can I go out? Repeat, can I go out for a moment? Can I make a phone call? Can I make a phone call? Permission, it's a question. El can iría en el primer lugar en ese caso. Y al final ubicaríamos un question mark, un signo de pregunta. Podemos hacer preguntas directas. Can you? Can you drive a car? Ahí se convierte en una pregunta de sí o no. Puede decir yes, I? Can. Yes, I can. can. Or no, I? Can. Can't. El negativo. Can. Can't. Can. Mm -hmm. eh, estas preguntas así, guys, eh, vienen bastante en, 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 en las entrevistas, ¿verdad? Cuando ustedes le están haciendo algún examen de inglés, les pueden preguntar con el do, y ustedes responden con el do. En este caso, con el can, ustedes responden con el can. ¿Ok? For example, can you speak Spanish? Guys, can you speak Spanish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right. Can you speak Chinese? No, Por ahí oí alguien que me dijo don't. Aquí no, no podría caber don't, ¿ok? No, I can't. Okay. No, no, I can't. can't. No. Entonces, no, your ability, no, your ability no, para atrapar okay. cómo, cómo inicia la pregunta, right? Es clave. Ahí. All right, so active listening, active listening. ¿Qué estoy usando? Estoy usando do, estoy usando can. So be careful with that. A ver, una pregunta de permission o, o de possibility. ¿Cómo sería una pregunta de possibility? Usted le dice al jefe, can I have a day off tomorrow? ¿Puedo tener mi día libre mañana? Can I have a day off? Can I have my vacation? Can I have my vacation? Possibility. Yes? Can you make a question using can? Can you make a question? Try, 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 try. Can, can you go? Are you served? Can you repeat, please? Can I order? Are you served? Can I, I order? Puedo yo ordenar? Excelente. Um, can I order? Dessert. Repeat. Can I order dessert? Can I order a dessert? Postre, ¿verdad, Miss? Dessert. Dessert. Sí. Dessert. Mmm, ya se me antojo algo, Miss, por su culpa. <laughs> go, go. Uh, can you give me a cup of coffee? <laughs> I'm drinking coffee, how do you know? <laughs> can I? Un mesero dice, can I take your order? Can I take your order? Yes. Can we dance? Can we dance? Incluso can, para invitación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Can you dinner with me? Can you have? Can you have dinner with me? Perfect. Can you, can you have dinner with me? Excellent, excellent. Can we can we watch a movie? Can we watch a movie? Yes. Can you help me uh, with my exam? Can you help me with my exam? Okay, can you make a question? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can you tell me about you? Yes. Can I have your phone number? Can I have your phone number? ¿Qué me dirías ahí? Can I have your phone number? Mm. Uh, yes, I, I can. 
Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Certainly. No problem. My phone number is 555-555, right? So that's the attitude. So very nice, very nice. Uh, thank you guys. Now, should. By antes que nada, can is the affirmative. What is the negative? Can't. Can't. Okay. Um, now, should. Repeat. Can. Should. Should. And the negative. What is the negative of should? Shouldn't. 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 Should. 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 Shouldn't. Shouldn't. No L. No L. Remember, no L, no O. Should. Affirmative. Should. should. You should. Me encanta should, guys. Me encanta should. Es tan respetuoso, es tan formal. No te estoy obligando a nada, te estoy dando un consejo. It's an advice for you. It's a recommendation for you. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Tómalo o déjelo, pero es una recomendación. Um, ¿Cómo decimos en español? Um, how do you say that? Sugerencia. Sugerencia. Consejo. 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 Ok. Es como dar a una advertencia, un consejo, una recomendación on the most professional way, ok um, you should you should yes I should, you should, we should no change, usamos el verbo en su forma base y el negativo sería shouldn't ok tú deberías, you should Tú deberías practicar más. You should practice more. You should practice more. Yes. You should sing songs in English. You should write in English. You should. Okay. Tú deberías. Tú no deberías. You shouldn't. You Repeat. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. I you shouldn't. Should you shouldn't. He shouldn't. She shouldn't. We shouldn't. They shouldn't. Uh, speak Spanish. Yes. In class, we shouldn't speak Spanish. Yes. Yes. Okay. Any question? For example, let's do an example. I'm going to put you on a scenario para que ustedes me usen should and shouldn't, okay? I'm going to tell you a situation, okay? And you're going to give me a recommendation. Ready? Attention. Class. Class. Yes. I have a problem. I have a big problem. Why? Uh huh. Who is problem. the problem? What is the problem? Repeat. What is, what the, is the problem, what is teacher? The problem? What is the problem? <laughs> I don't have money. I don't have money. Oops. Like no money, no honey. No money, no honey. Hey. I don't have money. Can you give me recommendation? Can you give me advice? Teacher, you should. What? Give me advice. Do you understand? You should sell your watch, for example, your computer. Can you repeat? You, you should uh, sell your computer. 
you should pronunciation should should you should your assault. computer you should sell repeat you, you should you sell should, you should sell your computer tratemos de unir las palabras ahí para darle esa entonación nativa el should con el sell las repeticiones miss mercy okay repetitions okay. you should sell you should, you should sell, sell. 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 Ahí son dos sonidos. Should. Should sell. 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 You, you should, should sell, sell your watch, your cell phone. Right? Good advice. Good idea. Thank you, Mercy. Other participation, please. Other one. Other one. You should ask for a loan at the bank. <gasps> That's a great idea. You should ask for a loan. Sí, verdad, mis five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. Que puedo pedir un préstamo. That's a nice advice, but with good interest, right? With good interest rate. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you, Azucena. That's a great example. I need money. I need money, people. Give me an advice. You should buy lottery. You should um, buy. Buy. It would be buy. Comprar. Yes, you should buy tickets, or tickets. you should you should buy tickets for the lottery. Yes, you should buy tickets for the lottery. <laughs> yeah, you should play. You should play the lottery. You should play the lottery. That's a good advice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next example, next scenario, next scenario, listen, listen, I need you to use should and shouldn't, la dinámica va a ser así, ahora, si un participante me dice un ejemplo usando should, necesito que el siguiente participante trate de usar shouldn't, ready, this is the scenario, pay attention, guys, I have a big problem, listen, I am very fat. I have a big belly like this, a big stomach, like a big belly. So I am very fat right now. I need to, I need to reduce my, my weight because my stomach is very big. I eat and I eat too much. Can you give me advice? Use your exercise. You should do more exercise. You should go to the gym. You, you shouldn't drink soda. Excellent. You shouldn't drink soda. You should go to the gym. I got that. Por ahí, me dije, quiero que escuche, you should make exercise. Sería make o sería do exercise? Do. do do you should do you should do exercise yeah. yes you should eat have vegetable a... you should eat veggies vegetable. you should eat vegetables repeat Veg vegetables vegetable. vegetables you shouldn't eat pizza you shouldn't eat pizza you shouldn't eat sweet or a snack or too much, or too much snacks. Repeat snacks. Snack. snack. Wait, wait, repeat snacks. Snacks. Snack. 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 Okay, good. Guys, you're so intelligent. You are so intelligent. You have any question about this, guys? Vamos a saltarnos esto por lo de la visión, okay, guys? You have any question? About should shouldn't yeah no questions estuvo bien la práctica se entendió you understand yes yes, yes. Teacher. clear it's clear. clear very clear clear like crystal water or clear like horchata water huh 
Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Oh my goodness. So I need to repeat then. I need to repeat. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next objective. Porque la verdad que sí vamos atrasaditos. Okay, entonces vamos a movernos con esto. Let's move on. Let's move on. Of course, claro, ustedes tienen que seguir practicando, right? Lo que les, se les va compartiendo, right? Continue studying. Continue practicing yourself. Let's go with the next objective. We're going to uh, use module verbs can and should will be taught in, in order to ask and answer questions. So we're going to review. We're going to practice more with should and can. Hopefully this video can be seen better. Let's check. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative. Okay. We're going to analyze this verb, this video. Really. Model verb. You can see the palace. Check these questions out. Check these questions out. Aquí ya es con WH words. With the WH word, what? What can I do? What can I do in Mexico City? What can I do? Actions. I'm asking you about actions. Activities. Do es hacer. So activities, actions. Ah, you can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can see. You can see. Yeah. You can't. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. I'm giving you information. Okay. So what can I do? What can I do in El Salvador? If I'm a tourist. I'm a tourist. What can I do in El Salvador? You can go to the beach. Correct. You can go to the beach. We have different beaches. Thank you. You can visit the um, pyramid to the in the in Santana. You can visit the pyramids in Santa Ana City. Can you say something negative using can't? Mm, you cannot go to the San Salvador City because it's dangerous. Okay, 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 acceptable, acceptable. Thank you so much. For example, right now, you can't go to the zoo. You can't go to the zoo because it's closed. Do you understand? Zoo, yeah. do you know what is the zoo? Z-O-O? -O? Yes. So you can't go, you can't go to the zoo right now because it's closed. All right, all right, all right. Um, should, what should I see there? Now I'm asking you for, Suggestion. Yo te estoy pidiendo. I'm asking you for suggestion. What is your recommendation for me? What should I see? What should I eat? Yeah. What should I see in certain place? For example, if I go to Santa Ana, what should I what should I see in Santa Ana? You should visit the volcano of Isalk. 
you should visit the Isalco volcano. Repeat. You should visit the Isalco volcano. volcano. Excelente, Miss. Guys, podemos dar una oración negativa eh, usando Miss. No, te, no deberías perderte como, no deberías dejar de ver. Vamos a decir, you shouldn't miss. No te vayas a perder de ver esto, de hacer esto. You shouldn't miss acá. Quiero ver, one second. One second. Bye, teacher. What do you mean, bye, teacher? ¿Cómo que bye, teacher, María? Si terminamos a las 10. Come on. No te haga trampa, Miss. Come on. <laughs> Please don't go. All right. Entonces, um, you shouldn't miss a watch a pan in a watch a pan. What should I see in a watch a pan? Huh? Who knows? What should I see in a watch a pan? You should uh, miss. Uh, should. Meet, should. You shouldn't miss. You shouldn't miss a taco. A taco. You shouldn't miss a town called a taco. It's a famous town. Thank you, Mercy. Excellent. Okay. What should I see in the capital, San Salvador City? What should I see in San Salvador City? Thank you, Brian. Brian says you shouldn't miss to visit the Coatepeque Lake. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Let's talk about worldwide. Worldwide. For example, imagine in Mexico. Mexico. What should I see in Mexico? Can you tell me? You shouldn't miss the, uh, I don't know, uh, Virgin to the Guadalupe. Okay, Be, to, you shouldn't miss to visit the, the Basilica, the uh, Basilica. Or something like that, right? Uh, Guadalupe, right? Correct, correct. You shouldn't miss. Okay, guys, think about think about Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, what, guys, what should I eat in Mexico? What should I eat in Mexico? You should eat tacos. Super duper. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Let's change. Let's change atmosphere. Let's travel to the United States. What should I see in the United States? You should, should miss to the stay to the liberty. liberty. Okay, remember, remember, next to the module verb should, you need the verb. You should not miss to uh, meet, to visit the stay to the liber liberty. Okay, you shouldn't miss to visit the Statue of Liberty. Yes. You shouldn't miss to visit Is it the to Statue, Statue of Liberty. Li or liberty. Thank you for your participation. You're very participative today, Mercy. Está pagando lo los días, Miss, que no le serví el microphone. Me llega, yes, me. teacher. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys in the United States, uh huh, shoot and shoot. You should visit the Empire State or Disney World. Oh, I should visit Disney World. That's a great idea. You really give me good advice. You should be a psychologist, Azucena. <laughs> All right, excellent. Good job. Good job, guys. You should go to the Vegas. I should go where? You should go to the biggest. Biggest? Vegas. Oh, Vegas. Vegas. you should Vegas. go to Las Vegas. Yes. 
Oh, yes, but I'm going to spend my money over there. It's, <laughs> it's extremely expensive in Las Vegas. <laughs> good advice, good advice. Thank you for your participation, guys. Good job. Okay, let's check. When we're making questions, okay, we're going to use the WH question word. For example, where? Okay. Then we're going to use the modal verb, should. And then we're going to use the subject, we or I, right? And then the verb, where should we go? Repeat, where should we go? 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 I'm asking. Estoy preguntando por recommendation para que me digan un lugar, right? Where should we go on vacation, for example? Where should we go? Okay. Who can make you... a question? Ah, question. Mm -hmm. WH word. Volunteer. Who has a WH word? Podemos usar where, podemos usar what, what time, when, who. Where should I through a doctor? Can you please repeat that? Where, uh, where should I a doctor? Vaya, ahí nos falta un verbo. Ah, okay. yes. Where should uh, true teacher? Where What? should true? True? Yeah, true. What is true? Remember, you need a verb. See, go, speak to, visit, any verb. Mm -hmm. Va, vamos a hacerlo en orden, vamos a ver, vamos a hacerlo en orden. Vamos a hacer eh, en, grup, en grupal, ok? So let me check, let me check right here. Um, tenemos acá a Jaime, ok? Jaime, choose a WH word, ok? Denos un WH word. Why? 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 Okay, what's next? Sigue el module verb. Sería why should. Why should. Why should. Digamos, I, subject I, ¿por qué debería yo? Why should I learn English? Why should. Miren qué bonita esa pregunta. Why should I speak English? Why should I speak English? Because it's very important. Correct. Because it's very important. Repeat. Because it's very important. Because it's very important. Very important. Important for my future. And, and for my family's future. Okay. It's very important. Why? Yeah. Vamos a escoger otro WH word. Vamos a ver Jaime. Different WH word. Different than why. Sorry, teacher. Acabo de ingresar a la plataforma. No, no, no. Vámonos con Jaime Reyes. I'm sorry. Jaime Reyes. Sorry, sorry. Que tenemos dos Jaimes, hombre. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh -huh. Give me, give me a WH word, Jaime Reyes. Yo digo el why. Ya usamos why. Otro. Another one. Well, when. When. When should. Wait, wait, wait. When. Ajá. Uh -huh. When should. When should. Okay. Subject. Um, you. 
When should you? When should you? Um, now the most drink, important. Drink, drink water. Drink water. Guys, ahí me le ponen ustedes el signo de pregunta que mi laptop les tiene averiada esa tecla. Right? Así que ahí en las preguntas que les estoy poniendo en el chat, put the question mark. When should I, when should you drink water? Guys, when should you drink water? Um, when should every, you drink water? Every, every one hours. Every day. Right? Because every day. Every day. There's no day for that. Every day is necessary for you, for your system. Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Very well. Different WH word. Una más. Vamos a ver. Susana Caroline. WH word. Um, why? Ya está. Why? Ya la hicimos. Ya hicimos why. Ya hicimos when. You need a different WH word. Where? Ay, ya está. Where? Thank you. Where? What's next? Hello? Where? What? What's hmm. next? Should, according to the formula. Or should. Where should. Should. Subject. Digamos, we. Where should we. Where should we eat dinner? Hey guys, in your graduation, think, in your graduation in this program, where should we eat dinner? Uh-huh, where should we eat dinner for your graduation? Hello? Where should we eat dinner for your graduation? Do you understand? In, in the restaurant. We should, we should eat at a restaurant. Repeat, we should eat. We should, we we should, should eat, eat, at eat, eat at a restaurant. At a restaurant. Yes, we should eat at a restaurant. Okay, let's see. Sure. Let's see what else do we have right here. So that was the formula with um, should. Okay, eso era para preguntas, right? Esto es para positive sentence. Positive sentence. Subject. Module verb. Verb. And complement. For example, we should go to a museum. Okay, we should go to a museum. Okay, imagine, is vacation, is the class vacation? What is your advice for vacation? Uh huh. Follow the formula. I should uh, go to the beach. I should. I solo step with. I should go to the <laughs> beach. Oh my God. <laughs> we, we should. We should go to the beach. See, sí, right? Nosotros deberíamos. We should go to the beach. Okay. Other, other suggestion for vacation? Other suggestion? We should. We should have a we party. 
We should visit the mountain. We should visit. We should. Should. We should we visit should the mountains. Visit. The mountains. The mountain. Mountains. Mountain. Okay. We should visit the mountains. Yes. What's your advice? What's your advice for vacation, for the class vacation celebration? What's your advice? We, we should. should go to the. Mm -hmm. We should go to a good restaurant. Yes, definitely. We should go to a good restaurant, and we should we should invite our families. Yes, we should invite our families to have like a very special uh, occasion celebration over there together, right? We should visit Guatemala. Guatemala, yes, that's a good idea. We should visit in Guatemala and, and stay. We should we should stay in Guatemala two or three days, you know. We should visit Panajachel. Do you know Panajachel? We should visit Panajachel city. It's a nice city. Yes. Okay. Nice class, nice participation. We should we should go, guys. We should go to bed now. Yes. 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 <laughs> we should go. We should go to rest. We should go back to sleep. Thank you for your participation. Congratulations. Practice your English. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow, teacher. Thank Good you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. My Good big night. pleasure. Good night.